Hey guys, it's Brandon302, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a custom background or theme on Roblox. So let's get right into the video. So I've gotten some people asking me, how do I get my background animated and stuff like that? Having a video as the background and everything, or just having a different color instead of just the gray, the gray, like dark or whatever you guys use, the light background or the dark background. Just make it whatever color you want and however you want it to look. So first I would say this is the easiest way, but you want to go down into the description, all right? And you want to click on the RoPro extension, all right? Once you click that, it will lead you to here um, on Chrome Web Store. Make sure uh, this only works on PC on the Roblox.com website, all right? So I already have it downloaded, but all you guys want to do is you want to click I think it says add to Chrome and you just want to add it and then what you want to do is you want to go to Roblox now I as you guys can see I have no background on here and I have no background on my profile as well and I am using a new account just to show you guys how to work this alright so once you added that extension to your Chrome um, you should see it in the top right if you don't see it up here pinned up here you want to click on the extensions thing as you guys can see and this is all the ones I have on right now alright um, but you want to click manage extensions and then it will open up all your extensions you have here and you want to look for Ropro enhance your Roblox experience right here alright and you just want to turn that on once you turn that on you can close the extensions page and then you go back to Roblox here and you just want to refresh the page alright now you have RoPro turned on, all right? So next, what you want to do, as you guys can see, there's an edit theme here, but you can't really use it yet, all right? First, you have to go to home, all right? And all you have to do is you just have to click verify my user one click. And you just verify, there. After I spam clicked it, um, it finally worked. And, um, but yeah, it calculates how much time you guys have on games and everything in the past 30 days, which is cool. And it all it is all for free as well, which I think is actually very awesome. Yes, yeah, so now what you guys want to do to get a custom theme, as you guys can see my background is a lot different now, it's moving. So look, if we go over to your profile, you want to click on edit theme, and boom, you have all these themes here, right? So I want to mention Ropro does have different subscriptions, so you can only use so much of this themes thing. They have Ropro Free, Ropro Ropro Plus, and Ropro Rex, alright? As you guys can see, I only got the free one, but it works just as good. So as you guys can see, I got my themes here. These are the default themes. These are the animated. So these are the actual moving one. Look, this is the one I literally have as my background here. You see this? Um, and then, yeah, you got blur, a bunch of customized settings. And if you also pay for the plus, you get theme color adjustments, which I will show you on my other account, which I do have um, a plan on. All right. And also, if you guys turn this on, if anyone else has RoPro and they go to your um, profile, it will show the same background that you chose, all right, which is pretty cool. So, if you guys want to click a background, you can just scroll through here, just scroll through here, and let's say I want to pick, there, maybe just a nighttime sky thing, there, boom, this looks nice. There, and see now, so when I go on any pages on Roblox, Oh, yeah, I actually forgot to remove the theme. I was supposed to remove it before I switched it. So make sure you, whenever you guys are um, switching your themes, make sure to remove it and then pick it, all right? Nice. I like this. I really like this. All right. So now you actually want to click save theme, which I didn't do, all right? So you want to click save theme. At successfully updated profile theme. Other users will be able to view your theme now. So if other, if other people have RoPro and they go to your profile here they will see um, this background all around it here as you guys can see so if you guys search up Brandon 302 is pro on Roblox right now and you have RoPro you will see this background here all right I will keep this background up just for the video um, I would say this is a very good uh, extension because it does a lot more stuff especially the free stuff look how much the free stuff does literally I'm just showing you guys what you can do with the themes in here so now I'm gonna quickly show you guys what um, the themes look like when you buy subscriptions 
So as you guys can see, I'm on my main account now, all right? I switched to my main account. So let's go to my profile. As you guys can see, this is my background when I go to my profile. But let's say I want to change it, all right? So we do edit theme again, as usual. Remove theme. So we're going to remove it. And then, as you guys can see, I do have RoPro Rex, which is their, like, top thing here, as you can see. I don't know. It's your guys' choice what you want to get. But look, you can choose if you want it in HD or 4K. So I'm going to turn it to 4K. Okay, never mind. I guess you got to pick before um, you turn it to 4K. But yeah, anyways, so yeah, look. You can hover over all them, and they start doing some animated stuff. So let's click on this one, because this one looks pretty cool. So yeah, look. These little particles... So, they're not that good of quality right now, but you can get them in 4K. So, let's do... Alright, let's just do this. This looks cool. So, yeah, when I'm when I'm on Roblox, this is what the background will look like. So, we can change it to 4K if we want. And it does say it can cause a little bit more lag to your device, which is true. As you guys can see, it is lagging a little bit. But, um, that's because I haven't saved it yet. And, what you guys didn't get before was Rotate Hue adjust saturation and adjust lightness all right so you guys get that i haven't really used this because i don't feel like i need to but if you want to it is cool as well so yeah again save theme and now we go to my profile and boom now it's there even when i go to home or anything it's going to be my background um for yeah until i until i want to change it or remove it so yes i hope this video helped you guys out go down in the description get the extension there thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe i will see you guys on the next one and bye